from being able to read messages without anybody finding out, to being able to flick through applications much faster, the Android mods I'm about to show you could change the way you use your device. Not only are they incredibly useful and either inexpensive or free, but they need no root and can be used straight away. So the first one is Unseen. It's an application that allows you to read incoming messages without it being marked as seen on the application it's been sent on. It works across WhatsApp, Facebook and Viber, and you can decide which of those applications you want to enable it for. It's really for those times which, to be honest, occur to all of us where someone sends you a message, you're very curious as to what it is, but you don't necessarily want the pressure of having to reply straight away. It is a free application, but I would recommend the 99p or so purchase just to get rid of the adverts. So then we have Rocker Locker. Once installed, a pretty indisposable tool. What it does is changes your volume buttons so that they only change the media volume. Without the application, you'd either have to open a video first only to find out it's way too loud and you've just woken someone up, or start adjusting your ringtone volume, click the down arrow and then adjust your media, which can take up to 4 or 5 clicks. Now this mod just makes so much sense because for the most part, the media volume is the only one you'll be changing. And to go with this, to rapidly allow you to adjust your other volumes, is Volume Notification. Once installed, it creates up to 6 persistent icons in your notification bar, and to adjust any of those respective volumes, you simply tap on them and start sliding. So it's no secret that most smartphones have pretty terrible audio. Even high-end flagships haven't managed to escape this fate. But with the AMP Me application, you can actually download it on a host of different smartphones and let them sync together and play music at the same time, giving you not only a surround sound effect, but also louder and clearer audio. You simply download it, pick a song from YouTube, SoundCloud or Spotify, and then other smartphones can join in. So then we've got Dumpster, and essentially once installed, it acts as a free recycling bin for your smartphone. Anytime you delete a photo, video or application, it's moved to Dumpster's own folder, giving you a second chance to restore it, just in case you messed up. For a monthly fee, it does have a pretty interesting option, which means everything in the Dumpster can automatically be backed up online. So then we have Pixel Draw, a modification that gives you the look and the feel of the Google Pixel App Draw, but with a lot more customization. Now unfortunately, to actually get the full experience or anything like it, you will have to buy the pro version, but that lets you do a lot, being able to customize every single application and the entire way the app draw looks and feels. It's also a lighter weight version of having a custom launcher. Rolling up next is Energy Bar, quite an interesting little mod that you can install and pretty much just forget about. It's incredibly seamless, but also incredibly subtle. It sits there right on top of your notification bar and tells you how much battery percentage you have. The free version is great enough, it shows you the line, but with the pro version you can add segments of different colours to make it really clear when you surpass certain battery checkpoints. So then we've got IFTTT, and this is a big one. So much so that this could be an entire video in its own right, but essentially, boiling it down to the basics, this application has thousands of modifications for your smartphone. The app works by bringing together lots of different services. Just as an example, I could set it to track my GPS, and then as soon as I get near home, it could turn on my smart lighting kit. It links to pretty much everything, from Spotify to LinkedIn to SoundCloud, and it's a very fun one to play around with. So then there's Movies, nothing to do with getting stuff done or productivity, but more just a pretty cool visual experience. What it does is create any of a whole host of different equalizers in your navbar. They respond to the music you're playing, whether it's through Spotify or YouTube, and the good news is, is it doesn't require any root. It works over transparent bars, and there is also a pro mode, which to be honest is far from necessary because you can get most of the features in the free one. So if it's all about speed when you use your smartphone, you might be interested in Launchify. It essentially displays your most frequently used or most recently used applications essentially everywhere. It puts them in your notification bar, it puts them on your home screen, and it even puts them on your lock screen, so you're basically never very far away from reopening these applications. Now again, with the pro version you've got a lot more to play with, you can decide on certain applications to be custom set in the bar permanently, and other ones to rotate according to different rules. So guys, that's the video, I really hope you found it useful. If you did, be sure to smash that subscribe button, that would really help me out. And with that being said, I'm Mr. Who's the Boss, and I'm signing out. Ooh.